Hello and welcome. I'm Bruce Walter, part of the Unilock Contractor Services team. I want to thank you for joining us on UCARA Basics today. At this point on this segment, I'd like to discuss a 45 degree angle with UCARA backers. So, a couple of things. If you're looking at standard retaining wall block, a lot of times on an odd angle or 45 degree corner, individuals will miter those um, individual blocks. The one nice thing about UCAR is inside of this interior structural cavity, we're not going to do that. We're going to interlock these two components here and I'll show you how that goes. All right, so let's get started here. Uh, I've got first course laid out. Let's identify this point right here on our base block as our corner point that we want to extend up. So I've started this first course of backer, standard backer here at that point, and my course is coming just to provide contact to that point. I do have a void space here, but I'm not too concerned about it. And the reason is that if I lay my small panel up on the concrete rail side, this is mitered now at a 22 and a half degree angle. Uh, one other thing really quick, and I know it talked about this a little bit, but you'll notice that I'm taking a full half panel and slicing that 22 and a half degree angle um, with that bevel intact. So I, I have a little bit of extra concrete, if you will, at that corner on this miter. It gives it a little bit more strength on that cut. So if I slide that material in, again, we're using adhesive, we're using adhesive on this. I would apply that adhesive here, center point. Now this void space again, as I was mentioning, not to worry about, and here's the reason why. We're going to take our large panel that's been cut on that 22 degree angle and slide that in, therefore covering up that void space. So why the void space? Well, here on course two, what you're going to notice, I use the one that the top groove has been removed because we're going to crisscross. I establish that point again here with this, meeting in contact on that backside with this position here. We'll continue this standard backer installation, sliding those in. Second panel coming up again. We would be using adhesive, obviously, on this course to course to course, as well as here on these fascia panels, just for added stability. Covering up the void space. All right. So while we do have a mitered seam, it's important to notice that we're locking up these backer courses from one course to the next. All right, so a little extra enhanced stability on that point. I'm gonna disassemble this really quickly just to show you the inside. And the inside, again, is fairly simple as well. So no cutting here on the backer, all in here on the outside fascia panels, but the inside backer is simply a full panel to a half panel and where those meet and that's it. So again, structurally we have things enhancing the support of this corner in the interior with the backers and we are mitering up those exterior panels. So real easy to provide a strong insulation on a 45 degree angle or any angle really for that, that much. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna back up to our large backer. Um, large backer does take a, a little bit of cutting but there's a technique that we use um, by making one cut to develop two pieces. So, here again, I would take a large backer. If I'm doing a 45, lay my square up. So, I'm centering this square basically along those ribs, marking that. I would cut that block, and that's what I've done here with these two pieces. Now, this is, piece is gonna be again used we're going to use one component here. This is from course number one. This would go next, all right? And then this would get recycled into the fourth course as well. So kind of making one cut to provide two components to build this. But notice again, we're interlocking these backers together, all right? So by doing that, providing additional strength to this corner, especially here with a large backer that is potentially part of a raised patio application. So, real easy build to do, small amount of cutting to do, but again, enhanced strength. So, with that being said, thank you for your time. We'll see you again later.